Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Got a beautiful sunny day going on. I'm uh, chipping away at my projects. And those of you folks who watch me regularly, I mean you know the 2000 Lakota like it's the back of your hand. I've been working on it for quite a while. And you guys, um, this is the OEM carb <laughs> that goes on it. You guys could see. It's one of them Keevan cards, and it's one of the constant velocity units, right? CVK, constant velocity Keevan. Um, and given that you guys know all that, for some of you newcomers, um, this is a vacuum actuated. I'm going to call it accelerator pump. What happens is when you give it gas, this gets pulled up, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. And there's a needle here that gets pulled out of a bore, which allows it to draw more gas. So as you're giving it fuel, or as you're giving it throttle, it richens up the mixture by pulling this up. Well, my carb and the diaphragm in there was melted or torn on one of these corners. This is a eBay model. I picked this up. Um, I did some research about getting this from um, our friends at Kievan or um, Kawasaki and they want it, believe it or not, I, I thought they were going for a hundred bucks. Looks like they were going for one 42. This is a used one that I paid uh, 42 bucks for. So it's $100 cheaper. But in the meantime, and I'm trying to keep this nice. I really I don't want to I don't want to spend 42 bucks on it and then break it. So I'm just going to keep it right in this mayo jar where it'll be hopefully safe. So anyway, given that mine was torn, what I did is I took some of this uh, liquid tape stuff. You get this at Harbor Freight. It's about somewhere around ten bucks for this, and I um, and I painted it on over the hole right, and let it dry and painted it on over the hole a few times to make sure that I sealed it up. Anyway, since then, I've obviously put the carburetor back on this beast, and you can see there's some fuel in it, and um, this thing is ready for a start. Um, you know, cold start, right? So let me show you guys what I have, um, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. I did give it a couple of quick turns to make sure that it was going to pop and so forth, so... Um, you, you know, I'm not like this this uh, great genius that every time I work on one of these things, the very, very first time on video, it fires up. I I always kind of do a, a, a check to make sure it will fire up. But once again, this is a cold start, right? I mean, I didn't run it and warm it up and get it all ready so that you guys would say, well, wow, look at this. Everything Harvey touches is gold if that was only the case. So you turn the key on, you got the green light, you got the choke on, and you push the button. So as you look in the carburetor, I give it gas. You can see how it pulls up. that this is uh, one smoky and stinky like I'm just going to run until the car runs out of gas and what do you guys think and now it's idling on its own the choke is on. Huh? 
that a spooky SOB or what? See, I um, I do have some trouble with mosquitoes. Wow, it's hard breathing here. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna step out for a second. Uh, there you go. <laughs> What did Pug One used to call that? Choochin? Boy, there's a choocher for you. Yeah, as soon as uh, she runs out of gas, I go back in there. Um, anyway, I do have some trouble uh, with mosquitoes. And I'm sure this uh, this bike, uh, you know, before I take any of the others out, I'm going to do a, take this out and run it around in circles and see how, uh, how well it chases those mosquitoes away. Anyhow, um, I have not changed the oil on this thing yet. I'm waiting for filters to come in, and as soon as the filters come in, I will I will change the oil on it, and then I'll start putting it all all back together again. Um, the bore was really nice um, when I had when I had the head off. Right, I didn't actually pull the jug. I just pulled the head off and took a took a look at the bore and the board looked really really good so um i'm i'm hoping that with the fresh oil change that this thing uh will behave some of you guys mentioned that what you use in these things is um is diesel oil you don't um and if you do use this kind of oil you make sure it doesn't say um, fuel saving oil on it. So, um, and given that, I, I must say my temptation is to leave that dirty oil filter in there because I do have some diesel oil down in the garage. Some of the um, I'm going to call it older diesel oil. I've I've had my China tractor for God going on 20 years now, and uh, is it that long? 97-ish, 07 is 10 years, and then 17 is 20 years. So I've had that going on on 20 years now. Um, so I am I am thinking of dumping this oil and putting some of that in there, see if it, you know, just just as a, as a cleanup oil change, just to kind of run something through it so it cleans things up, and then I'll dump that oil and then um, do a real oil and filter and you know put the uh, put the expensive stuff in there you know put that five dollar quart stuff in there um, so anyway that's what's going through my mind um, why am I why did I make this video I wanted to show you guys that with the Keevan carbs that the um, that the um, diaphragm could be patched mine was not torn all the way around mine just had kind of a hole in it on one side it, it was a good size hole it was um it was probably a quarter inch so it was a pretty good size hole and it was torn so um the diaphragm itself wasn't all that um symmetrical um but i did patch it and i was careful to patch it in a way such that it was able to move up and down in the bore, right? I, I wanted to make sure it didn't um, cock this butterfly to one side or, or anything. Um, and it, it, does, it does seem to be functioning. It does seem to be richening things up. Um, if that doesn't work, um, if it, you know, you go to give it fuel and it and it sticks I mean first of all you're not getting the richening of I, I'm trying to show you at the same time my fingers in the way see that needle in the center right as that comes up it's tapered and it lets more more gas in so if um, if I give this throttle and it doesn't come up it'll probably just bog down and pick up speed slowly and given that you know it won't be taking in as much air as it should be um it it'll it'll bog because it doesn't have the fuel to accelerate smoothly in the rpm and then once it is opened um 
it still will will be um, having trouble getting fuel, but at the same time, it'll be air restricted. So I'm I'm thinking it'll just be a poor performer. If it sticks up, right? Let's say it sticks in the up position. I think what will happen is um, when I bring it down to an idle. Um, I don't know if it'll go too rich and flood and stall or um, because that's all the way opened um, at an idle it'll let too much air in and confuse what jets will be functioning and it'll stall because it goes lean so I'm not sure if it'll if it'll go too rich at an idle and stall or too lean at an idle and stall but I'm thinking it'll stall <laughs> <laughs> if it gets stuck open and I think if it um, gets stuck closed it just I'll just have poor performance I'm gonna run it like this for a while see if uh, my repairs hold up and why am I gonna do that even though I have another one because I'm I'm curious I I want to see if if that Rube Goldberg liquid tape repair to the diaphragm will work so um, there it is. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Uh, I want you all to keep your feet down, keep your head up. And most of all, I want you to get out there and enjoy all your days. you got beautiful ones like this going on. you got to get, get out there and enjoy it. i got to get, get out there and enjoy this because like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, they're already talking 80. So we're going from 50 to 80, right? We're skipping <laughs> the upper 50s. We're skipping the 60s. We're skipping the 70s. We're going from the 50s to the 80s. You got to love it. All right, folks. Take care now. Bye.